Hey guys, welcome to the first uh, calculus lesson. Uh, you're probably very excited to start learning calculus. Uh, just make sure that before you start going through this lesson, you have been through all of the pre-calculus lessons on um, instantane uh, on the rates of change as well as the uh, limits. Okay, so um, before we start this lesson, some of the things we have established previously are that a straight line graph will have the same gradient no matter which two points are picked to calculate the gradient. So if the graph is a straight line, uh, for example, y equals 2x at every no matter which two points you pick to find the gradient gradient is rise over run it'll always give you the same gradient right? because the slope of this line is the same no matter which two points you pick whereas a curve so the second point the second dot point here says a curve will have different gradients depending on which two points are picked to calculate the gradient. So here I've picked these two points and if I show you the gradient by um, joining these two points with a straight line you can see that the gradient of this line so if you right click on the line change it to equation y equals mx plus c um, the gradient is 15, right? Because remember, the gradient of a straight line is the number in front of x. So, um, if I drag these two points around, you'll see that the gradient of the straight line joining them changes. The slope of the straight line joining them changes. So, it depends on which two points are picked to calculate the gradient. All right, so for a curve, the gradient is always changing. Okay, now let's establish a third dot point, and that is when the two points used to calculate the gradient um, <clears throat> becomes infinitely close together so very very close together um, the line joining the two points uh, becomes the tangent line so if you're not familiar with the term tangent it means uh, a line just touching the curve. So, um, if you have a look at the uh, GeoGebra, so if I start moving these two points very close together so that they're both at x is equal to 5, so let me just move them both to x equals 5. And I'm going to move this, these two points on top of each other. You can see that this straight line becomes a tangent to this curve, meaning that it is barely just touching. It has a single point touching the, uh, the curve. So this is the tangent line when the two points are extremely close together. Okay, so let's establish the first, the fourth dot point, um, which is that when, sorry, the gradient of the tangent line is the gradient of the curve at the point of contact. So what that means is, if you have a look at the tangent line, um, the tangent line is touching the curve at 
x is equal to 5 so I know it says 5.07 but really it's just 5 and let me just make this a bit smaller oops so we can see the description so the gradient of the tangent line is the gradient of the curve at the point of contact so this is saying that the gradient of this line is the gradient of the curve at x is equal to 5 alright so um, basically if we didn't know any calculus and we wanted to find the rate of change or the gradient or the slope at a particular point on the curve we would have to draw a tangent line at that point and find the gradient of the tangent so um, let's do a question based on that so let's say um, find the gradient of the curve y equals let's do a quadratic x squared plus 2x plus 7 at point at the point when x is equal to 4 I just totally made up this question not not even sure if it's gonna work so basically to do this question what we're gonna have to do without using calculus is that oops hang on just let me uh, cut and paste this is we're gonna have to draw the curve in GeoGebra so let's just draw it see what it looks like delete this original line so I'm gonna draw it and uh, so it's y equals x squared plus 2x plus 7 alright very interesting curve okay we want to find the gradient of this curve at the point when x is equal to 4 so uh, I'm just gonna change the axes again just to make it um, but easy to see so x to y axis ratio 1 to 10 and I'm gonna create a point on here and I'm gonna drag it to x is equal to 4 so about here very difficult to drag I've noticed so I'm gonna press the left arrow key to bring it back a little bit When x is equal to 4, y is 30.95. Does that make sense? 16 plus 8 24 plus it should be 31. Why does it say it should be 31? Okay. When x is 4, y is 31, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a tangent line at this point. So click here, click tangents, uh, click the point, and then click on the curve. And you can see I have um, tangent line at point A. And for my line, I'm going to right click on that and choose equation uh, y equals mx plus c and we can see that the gradient of the tangent line is 10 so the answer is um, gradient 
equals 10. At uh, the point um, what was the coordinates again for that point x equals 4 y is 31 on the curve uh, y equals x squared plus 2x plus 7. Alright, so basically the whole point of um, calculus is to figure out how to do this without having to um, draw a tangent line, alright, because obviously to draw the tangent line you would need um, a program like GeoGebra and obviously this is a pretty new program and I mean you're gonna have to drag the line around all over the place in order to find the gradient at a particular point even with the high-tech program like this it takes a pretty long time to figure it out without proper um, calculus techniques. Okay, so this concludes our first lesson on the uh, instantaneous rate of change. I uh, hope you guys were able to understand what I've gone through so far. See you again next time.